team, we're gonna be making some armadillo eggs. You're asking yourself, what's an armadillo egg? Well, it's just the perfect Super Bowl appetizer or, you know, regular Tuesday night, wanna have something different. You guys are gonna give this a try. We're gonna smoke them on our Ninja Wood Fire Grill. Now I'm using my XL, but you can do this in your regular one. You could actually do this in the oven because you're not grilling anything, you're just smoking it. So use the same temps in the oven as you do in the wood fire grill, you'll be solid, okay? Now, what is armadillo egg? It is a jalapeno stuffed with some cream cheese and, and uh, cheddar cheese, right? A little bit of seasonings in there and then wrap that in breakfast sausage and then wrap that in some uh, bacon, right? A little seasoning on top. I'm gonna smoke it for about an hour, give or take, and then we're gonna Give it a little glaze with some Kinder's barbecue sauce. All right, not sponsored. I just picked this up at the grocery store. I like the the nozzle here. I can just spray it over the, um, over the, well, whatever I'm cooking, but the armadillo eggs as it is. Now the pellets we're gonna use is gonna make a big difference on this one, okay? I was reached out to by Smoking Pecan and they have pellets. Now these aren't normal pellets. These are pellets made from pecan shells. Now I've had these for a while. I've used them a few times, but these gave off such a great flavor. Uh, the Smoking Pecan pellets are all natural. If you, uh, I'll overlay, uh, you know, side by side with some regular pellets, okay? You can see that the smoking pecan pellets are a lot darker, a lot more natural looking. That's because they're straight up pecan shells. Now the company that makes these actually sell pecans, you know, marketed, mass marketed, right? They actually sent me some too, so we'll be doing a recipe with that. But they were smart. They had a byproduct of the pecans, so they made, which were the shells, so they made pecan pellets. I've used them a few times. I like it. I like the smoke that it produces. It's a nice, good flavor smoke, all right, that I think will pair great with these armadillo eggs. So I'll put a link down below. You can check them out. Guys, you know I like to experiment with a lot of pellets, a lot of different ones. I've used all sorts of brands from ninjas to everybody else's. So you can pair up your pellets the way you like with whatever proteins you like, but I'm digging on these smoking pecan ones. The smoke is very natural, very good flavor, okay? So you take that for what it's worth. Boy, CJ digs them. And I always wanna tell you what pellets I'm using on particular cooks so you guys can make a call on what you wanna use too, okay? Guys, so what did we do to get to this point? Well, we had to set up the armadillo eggs, okay? So we took some jalapenos, we cored them out. I used a paring knife to cut off the top, kind of get in there, slice in there a little bit, but ultimately I just took the back of a spoon and then scraped it out. Get all the way around the jalapeno, pulled out the seeds, pulled out the ribs of it, the membrane in there, got it all out, right? Have a nice perfect pocket for our cheese concoction, right? Speaking of that, we took some whipped cream cheese. Now I like the whipped better because it's a little airier, a little not as heavy as regular cream cheese. Threw some Colby Jack in there, about equal amounts, okay? And then seasoned up with a little Uncle Steve's sweet and spicier shake. Pretty simple, got it really, really mixed up, really thoroughly mixed up together. Okay. Then I put it in a gallon baggie, smooshed it all down to the side, cut off a corner, took the mix in that baggie and piped it into the, you know, to the cord out into the jalapeno, right? Pretty simple so far, you're with me? I hope so, thumbs up, right? Comment down below that you're with me. <laughs> anyway, took that breakfast sausage, made a little patty out of it, and then wrapped it all the way around the jalapeno. Now you wanna make sure you get it nice and evenly, and, you know, pat it around. We kinda of wanna seal up that end because that cheese will kinda of melt out. I'm almost guaranteeing you will have some kind of uh, cheese leak on one of these while we're cooking. So if it happens to you, don't worry about it. And then we wrapped it up with a couple pieces of bacon. Now I used a real thin, uh, stretchy kind of bacon like I, this this with a thick cut bacon won't work as well because you want that bacon to kind of fall over it wrap onto itself be moldable you know with the sausage in there so i took a couple pieces each if you got bigger jalapenos it might take a little bit more you can't go wrong with more bacon than less bacon so just kind of roll with it took those seasoned them up with a little more uncle steve's sweet and spicy on the outside and then i stuck my temp spike in there i'm going to keep an eye on these but i want to make sure the internal temperature gets at least at like 170 175 because that means that that outside sausage has gotten a lot more cooked that outside bacon has got a lot more cooked too all right we want to make sure we cook it all the way through so once it hits to that 170 point in there and we see that the bacon's nice and crispy and the sausage is nice and cooked then we'll go ahead and open it up get some of that kinder's barbecue sauce on there give it another few minutes for that that barbecue sauce to set and then we're eating good in the neighborhood all right simple-ish right there's some steps to go but I think the reward, the payoff at the end, you're gonna dig it, right? 
Right. Nothing left to do but get that smoke rolling on the wood fire. So let's come on down here. We're gonna set up that wood fire to 275. We'll let it go through the ignition process and then put the armadillo eggs on there, right? So we get all that heavy duty white smoke out, right? But guys, I'm excited about this one. Football season's coming to an end, but we got that big game coming up. This is gonna be perfect for it, all right? Trust me, you make a handful of these, nah, people are never gonna leave. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing fired up. Talked enough already. We got our grill plate in there. Our smoking pecan pellets in. Gonna turn this on. Hello, how you doing? We're gonna go to the smoker setting. There's your wood fire. We're already at 275, so that works. Two hours will be plenty of time. So let's just hit start. Let it go through that ignition process and uh, we'll get those bad boys on. Guys, that smoke is rolling. Time to add the armadillo eggs. All right, guys, beautiful smoke. Let's get our armadillo eggs on. Of course, you know we gotta line them up, right? <laughs> All right, shut it down. We'll see you in an hour. Team, we're about 40 minutes in. We're still smoking pretty good. All right, let's take a look. See, they've got a couple blowouts, no big deal. We kind of figured that would happen. But we are up to temp on the inside. Kind of want to check. There we go. All right, we're we're good as far as temps go, but I want these to crisp up a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna give it another 15 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and get the um, kinders on. Now we're in. These things are done. They're done cooking. They're still getting smoke. That those uh, smoking pecan pellets are still smoking, right? So hey, you're getting your money's worth. That two pound bag in a wood fire will last you forever. So you guys. I have a big old box of it over here. I'll use it in my other cookers, but these little two pound bags are perfect. They're still smoking. Now it's time to get some barbecue sauce on them. Let that tack up for another 10, 15 minutes, um, but then we'll be eating good. So let's go ahead and uh, check on these bad boys to get some sauce. All right, y'all, let's take a look. Woo, see, still smoking. That to me is a lot better smoke, a lot longer smoke than any other pellets I've been using. So it's a good, good look. Okay, here's what we're looking at. We got some blowouts. <laughs> I did not get them is uh sealed up as i thought but that's okay get that cleaned up we'll get some barbecue sauce on them and we'll fish them up all right we got our kinders here let's get them nice and saucy okay i want to go ahead and get these little brush down gorgeous color nice dark deep rich mahogany these things are gonna be gorgeous or at least as gorgeous as armadillo eggs can be all right another 10 minutes and we'll come back to them time to chop into one of these bad boys I'm use my pit master knife. Just go right through it. Oh, that's nice right there. Just oozing on out, baby. All right, let's give it a try. We got our little bite right here. Oh, man. That is so good. It just covers, covers all the flavors of the rainbow. Smoky, spicy, sweet savory mm. guys don't sleep on this this is damn good oh, man good job cj <laughs> guys this stuff is way too good you gotta give it a try just trust me on that i mean just not much more to say okay guys if you want to get one of these wood fire grills I'll have a link down below, okay? It's affiliate link, don't cost you more to use it, but it helps with your boy. Uh, the Smoky Pecan, we link down below, it's not affiliate link, just to their website. Knives, candy boards, merch, spices, rubs, whatever, all down below, okay? If you'd like to become a show producer like all these awesome people scrolling in front of me right now, people that love a little sweet heat in their lives too, right? There are two ways to join up. You can hit that Patreon link in my video description, or you can hit the join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we are done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week, wonderful Super Bowl. Hope your team wins. But thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.